Well, hello there, guys, and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Right, so, farm baby farm, because it's going away soon. So, obviously, we're going to be still addressing the Rebuy Farm nerf, which already has happened once, and is happening even to a bigger degree, because Kabam is still not happy with the amount of free revives, or, well, uh, with the amount of revives you can get in the earlier story content. So, uh, as we have covered on the channel already, the earlier Act 3 by farms will be nerfed, as we have discussed in the past. This has to happen. It is inevitable. This is not the result of people posting it in the forums. This is a result of looking at the data and the impact these type of things have on the contest as a whole. That being said, the timeline for this looks like it should land early January, which means you have the December to farm and do your necro runs and just, you know, fill your stashes up and all that other good stuff. Now we can obviously go into a very in-depth rants and points of frustration and points of counter arguments how farming revives in its essence is not much different from grinding arenas, earning battle chips and using units in order to buy the revives and all that other stuff. All of those activities take time. The only difference really is what is your net gain and how you arrive there. But this video is going to be a bit different. This video is just going to be me giving you guys farming advice because I know there's going to be a lot of you who will want to, you know, take the biggest possible benefit that you can from the farming whilst you still can. So almost every stream people are popping in these days since the launch of Necropolis asking me where did I farm my revives, even though I didn't do much of farming, but this is what my viewers have recommended. These are the places that I were and farmed the stuff. And uh, Kabam's nerfing it all anyways. So I might as well just let as many people know exactly where to go, what to do, what are the best possible practices for it. And so here we go. <laughs> right, the quests themselves, which quests I visited most frequently. So they were 4.33, 4.44, 4.45, 5.36, 5.44, 5.45, and 5.46, as well as the symbiote classical variant of 3.1 and 3.2. Uh, the reason why there are several of these places is because almost inevitably it seemed like each and every single one of these things kind of run dry after several hours of farming where you do need to reset them multiple times. Overall, because of that, 5.36 is pretty much the best place to farm the revives. Because number one, it is quite cheap to reset because it doesn't take much energy when you go down the quest. And the second reason is even when there is no revive, you can quite often go and get a refill on top of everything else that you're doing in order to carry on farming. However, speaking specifically of the refills, I do highly recommend popping open your green crystals gradually. And there are a lot of refills in there. That's pretty much double the amount of refills that you will get revives from that. So if you are farming for Necropolis runs, obviously you have no need to open up all your green crystals, but you can open you know, them in increments of like 50 or something, and there will be a fair amount of energy refills available to you instantly that you can effectively convert into revives. Not to mention again that some quests like 5.36 or 5.46 will quite frequently give you a refill on the parts themselves. As far as the farming itself goes, there are people who do it on autoplay, and if you are in a position where you can just keep your phone on the side and, you know, just tap on autoplay and keep an eye on it without touching it for too much, that's fair enough. You should, however, know that it is significantly faster if you do actually play through the quests yourselves. Um, obviously, if you're having recall masteries and some heavy hitters, then it goes much, much, much quicker, be that, you know, something like Juggernaut, which goes unstoppable and you can just go brr in many of the quests or whatever else that you have ranked up higher that is relatively recoil friendly. You do want to have champions that have access to a lot of damage from the very beginning of the fight, kind of like Corvus-esque champions or Omega Red-esque champions or Juggernaut type champions that are super easy to play, do not require on specific rotations and just let you kind of like mindlessly rush through these things. Now, the final last bits of comment is that every time the game updates, every time a new update comes out, and that is set to happen relatively soon, uh, we will also get all the maps reset. So specifically for the time period right now, up until the next update, 
my personal recommendation is just to kind of scour the earlier act. I did quite a bit of that as well, where I can just I just entered this, you know, quest, whichever quest, like on all of 3.2 basically onwards, and took a look if there's an easy to grab revive, went and grabbed it, and then when the game updates, all of the maps get reset. If you do need to manually reset, if you see that there is no revive in the map, then always select whatever is the quickest and fastest way to the boss, defeat the boss, and that resets the map in itself. So that is, you know, about as much of an advice as I can give to you guys about revive farming. I'm sure that there are some much more knowledgeable people than me on the subject, because again, I never really did much of farming myself. However, obviously people in the streams have told me and that is about as much information as I'm relaying to you now, as well as, you know, the bits that I actually tried out myself. Uh, additional point is, as you are revive farming, do not completely abandon arena. It is super useful to go for like the bottom four or five milestones to get the units and stuff like that. Because again, units you can, if need be, exchange for uh, potions for for revives everything else and especially if you are kind of like on a bit of a dry spell in revive farming you can just hop in arena for 20 minutes just you know to reset yourself make it a bit less tedious perhaps you know it's still a slightly bit of a change and there is some guaranteed value in it as well because it is not rng based last point that i should mention obviously is the daily events make sure that whenever there is a daily event active um you know do complete it including if you are a bit higher end player, which I suspect you are if you are farming for Necropolis right now, including the event quest completion. The fact is that now, thanks to Paragauntlet, we can actually do event quest completion very quickly and very easily and get the revive from there too. And the final bit is do not forget the apothecary. Yes, it's awful. Yes, it sucks. At least it's one guaranteed revive a day, right? And you can blitz through it relatively quickly. So uh, for the most part, that is pretty much it. Uh, I don't think I have much left to tell you guys other than, you know, best of luck. May RNG be in your favor. May we get uh, the 5 million deaths in Necropolis, which is uh, looking relatively decent for now for the crypto event. And uh, farm, baby, farm. <laughs> Right, that is it for now, and I will catch you guys soon. Bye-bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about